Ladies and gentlemen, please rise for the academic procession. Be seated. Professor Wendy Thompson, CBE, Vice Chancellor, University of London. Mr. Xia Chin Xiong, President and Chief Executive Officer, SIM. Distinguished guests, graduates, ladies and gentlemen. A very warm welcome to the SIM and University of London presentation ceremony. My name is Dorcas, and I'm honored to be your Master of Ceremony today. This year's ceremony is a very special one for SIM and the University of London. We will see close to 1,400 students from the class of 2022 who will be graduating over three sessions. This cohort has also done us proud in achieving 166 first class honors. Ladies and gentlemen, Please join me in applauding our graduates for their achievements. It is now my pleasure to introduce our distinguished panel on stage. At the extreme left side of the stage, first row, we have Professor Alan Parkinson, Deputy Director, Education, and Professor of Financial Education, UCL School of Management. Professor David Webb, EMFSS Chair of Exam Board and Professor of Finance, London School of Economics and Political Science. <laughs> Professor Mary Stiasny, OBE, Pro Vice Chancellor, International Teaching and Learning, University of London. <laughs> Professor Wei Kwok Ki, Provost, SIM. and Professor Wendy Thompson, CBE, Vice-Chancellor, University of London. At your extreme right, first row, we have Dr. Francesco Nava, Academic Director, EMFSS Programs, London School of Economics and Political Science. Dr. Timothy Chan, Vice Provost, SIM. Mr. Oliver Tan, co-founder and CEO, VSENS. And Mr. Xia Chin Xiong, President and Chief Executive Officer, SIM. We are also very happy to have Her Excellency, Ms. Katerina Zelenko, Ambassador Extraordinary and Plenipotentiary of Ukraine with us for today's ceremony. Applause 
I would now like to invite Mr. Xia Chin Xiong, President and Chief Executive Officer, SIM, to deliver his welcome address. Mr. Xia, please. Mr. Oliver Tan, co-founder and CEO of vSense, Professor Wendy Thompson, CBE, Vice-Chancellor, University of London, distinguished guests, graduates, ladies and gentlemen. Good morning and a very heartfelt welcome to the SIM University of London graduation ceremony 2023. To all our graduates, congratulations on reaching this incredible milestone. Today marks a significant moment in your lives that you will always remember and cherish. You have faced unprecedented challenges brought about by the pandemic, but you have displayed immense determination and resilience throughout your academic journey. Your success is a testament to your hard work and perseverance, and we are incredibly proud of each and every one of you. Your loved ones have been your unwavering support system. So let us take a moment to express our gratitude to them. Our partnership with the University of London is very special and one that we hold dear to our hearts. It began in 1986 when Singapore was embarking on its second industrial revolution and there was an urgent need for professionals to manage the knowledge-intensive sectors. SIMUOL played a pivotal role in addressing this need, and the demand for the Bachelor of Science Honours in Management Studies program was overwhelming. The prestige and academic quality of a UOL qualification were significant factors in this demand. Today, I'm pleased to say that we are offering 30 SIM UOL programs that equip our students with the knowledge and skills required for the future of work. Our partnership has produced over 43,000 graduates to date, and SIM remains UOL's largest teaching center globally. Graduates, your academic achievements speak volumes of your capabilities and commitment your education at SIMUOL has equipped you with the skills, knowledge, and mindsets to thrive in the future economy. We acknowledge that the international outlook is uncertain and that we face many challenges, including a global economic slowdown, conflicts, inflation, rising costs, and climate change. However, we must not resign ourselves to these difficulties. In the words of the famous scientist Albert Einstein, in the middle of difficulty lies opportunity. Today, I want to share with you two post-pandemic opportunities. Firstly, the opportunity to continue being adaptable and agile in a very fast-changing world. In fact, the pandemic has shown us how capable we are of adapting quickly and effectively. The past three years have been our training ground to prepare for a post-pandemic world. The next phase is an opportunity to continue honing your ability to embrace change and adjust, enabling you to thrive in life and for life. Secondly, the opportunity to continually learn the pandemic has forced organizations to make significant adjustments and innovate constantly. Coupled with the fourth industrial revolution, traditional skills have become obsolete at an increasing pace. However, this presents an opportunity for us to adopt a mindset of lifelong learning, constantly upgrading ourselves to stay relevant 
and keep up with the fast-changing times. Your degree is not the end of your learning journey. It is the beginning of a lifetime of continuous learning. And at SIM, we are committed to supporting you in nurturing the lifelong learner in you. We offer a wide range of programs, including short courses in partnership with numerous industry partners, and we encourage you to see us as your support system, no matter your stage of life or learning needs. In conclusion, as you move forward to realize your dreams, we have confidence in all of you and you wish you the very best. Remember to stay connected with us at SIM and UOL, and we look forward to hearing about your adventures in life. Once again, my heartiest congratulations to all of you. Thank you. Today, we are very honored to have Mr. Oliver Tan, CEO and co-founder of vSense, as our guest of honor. Mr. Tan is a startup CEO, tech entrepreneur, and AI practitioner. It's getting exciting now, right, AI? In 2013, he founded vSense, a breakthrough AI company. Since then, vSense has been recognized as a global leader in retail tech, and he was named CB Insights Retail Tech Top 100 list, Gartner's hype cycle, as well as Singapore's best tech company to work in, in 2019. Before founding vSense, Mr. Tan held, led digital businesses in Asia in corporate sales, including a successful cybersecurity startup. A member of Forbes Technology Council, he advocates responsible AI developments, digital transformation, and promotes innovation. Mr. Tan was a recipient of the Asian Entrepreneurship Award 2017 by the University of Tokyo and the Japan Academic Society for, Advent for Ventures and Entrepreneurs. He was also named Entrepreneur of the Year 2018 by the Singapore Computer Society. Mr. Tan is a member of the Artificial Intelligence Technical Committee Information Technology Standards Committee, and is recently appointed to serve on the board of the Intellectual Property Office of Singapore. And Mr. Tan also serves on the School Management Committee for Assumption English School, and volunteers his time promoting entrepreneurship and industry events. Mr. Tan is our SIM UOL alumni, who graduated from Bachelor of Science in Economics in 1993 and went on to earn his MBA with distinction from Royal Holloway University of London. It is now my immense pleasure to invite Mr. Tan to address us today. Mr. Tan, please. Thank you, Mr. Seah. Professor Wendy Thompson, CBE, Vice Chancellor, University of London. Mr. Xia Chin Xiao, President and Chief Executive Officer, SIM. Distinguished guests, graduates, ladies and gentlemen, a very good morning to you. To all graduates, I want to congratulate each of you on reaching this major milestone in your lives. It takes hard work and determination to come this far. You deserve every moment celebrating this achievement with your friends and families today. When I received this invitation, I wondered what I would say to you in 10 minutes that might make a difference to you as you embark upon the next phase of your lives. So I imagined three pieces of advice that I would give a younger version of myself as if I were here graduating with you today. By the way, I graduated more than 30 years ago. Before that, let me outline three global shifts that are likely to have a profound impact 
on your jobs, your careers, and the environment we live in. First, artificial intelligence. Now, significant advancement in AI across many industries have led to increased efficiency, automation, and human productivity. AI frees the human knowledge worker to focus on more complex and creative work, enhancing innovation and value creation at the workplace. Now, recent developments in generative AI are now taking AI to the next level. If ChatGPT could easily clear a level three coding test for software engineers at Google, imagine what else is it capable of doing. Although it is still early days and cannot replace the creativity and critical thinking abilities of the human knowledge worker, we cannot ignore the implications arising from further advancements, nor can we ignore, or should we ignore, the real potential gains from such technology if developed responsibly in the future. But if you, but if you accept the reality that commercial enterprises using AI will always find cost-effective methods to produce better quality products at equal or lower cost, including potentially fewer humans in the equation, then you need to remodel your thinking about the kind of capabilities you need to develop to stay ahead. We are already in the middle of Industry 4.0, the merging of physical and digital systems, interconnectivity, automation, IoT, robotics. It is important for you to equip yourself with AI knowledge in whichever field you choose to stay ahead. Second, hybrid work models are here to stay. Now, COVID has forced many organizations in almost every industry to redesign their work processes to continue operating. Three years on, many of these redesigned work architectures, the hybrid office model, the remote first model, to a fully distributed work model without a central office, have remained, even after the lifting of COVID restrictions. What this means is that any knowledge worker who develops the requisite skills and knowledge such as in software engineering, is a lot more accessible by global employers who seek them at the right price. Time and distance are no longer obstacles. Coupled with AI tools, you can technically operate in almost any part of the world in organizations that operate such models. So think mobility, think global. But it also means this. For the same role or the job that you are seeking here in Singapore, your competition is no longer local. Third, increased volatility, uncertainty, complexity, ambiguity in the world today. Unfortunately, we have a rapidly polarizing world with increasing geopolitical tensions, trade conflicts, decoupling supply chains, rising energy prices, inf high inflation, banking failures, and an ongoing industry-wide layoffs that does not seem to end. As PM Lee Hsien Loong said recently, the world is not in a good place now, and we need to be super fit to ride out these uncertainties. If you find the present environment daunting as you look to join the workforce, I can perfectly understand this. This was exactly how I felt as a young graduate in the 90s, that saw upheavals from the first Gulf War in 1990, the collapse of the Soviet Union in 1991, the UK exchange rate mechanism crisis in 92, the Asian financial crisis in 97, and then the dot-com bubble bursting at the end of the decade. So in my remaining minutes, I'd like to share three pieces of personal advice in dealing with change and uncertainty. The first is about being lost. The next few years can be overwhelming for many of you. Feeling lost and uncertain can be a scary thing. But it is also one of life's greatest opportunities for growth. You see, I've been lost many times in my life. Each time when things seem normal, a curveball never fails to appear. Sometimes several at the same time. Without me realizing, 
being lost time and again, time and again has helped me overcome my fear of the unknown. Being lost made me resourceful in finding solutions to my problems, and being lost helped me prepare for the unexpected. At a relatively late age of 42, I embraced my biggest uncertainty when I left the corporate world to start from ground zero again as a startup founder. I ventured into two relative unknowns, AI and retail transformation. The nascency of my solution threw me into uncharted territory from day one. Now, one of the first few things I did was to make myself lost deliberately and unlearn everything I thought I knew and relearn everything I wanted to know by listening to leading retailers around the world, talking to knowledgeable AI scientists in different fields, and learning from experienced entrepreneurs who were gracious enough to share their wisdom with me. It was a truly humbling experience that made me a wiser man. The second is about being curious. Now, all of us have a natural tendency to display the knowledge we acquire. Nothing wrong with that. But I submit to you that knowledge within itself, without counterbalance, is intrinsically flawed. The greatest enemy of knowledge is not ignorance. It is the illusion of knowledge. Stephen Hawkins. So for me, being curious is my counterbalance to the presumption of knowledge. If the answers come too quickly to me without evidence of thought, my first reaction would be, is there something I missed? More often than not, there is. In a digital age, and an abundance of data, are we honest with the data? Is there more to what we see? Do we have the intellectual humility to accept that we might be wrong? Data curiosity is what I called it. So, staying curious made me want to learn more about things I don't know about. Staying curious compels me to question the answers I think I know and seek out blind spots. Staying curious keeps my intellectual humility in check and made me a natural self-learner. My final advice is about taking chances. Life is full of uncertainties, but it is also full of opportunities. And all opportunities come with risk. There's no safe bet in life. Yet, people are natural creatures of comfort. We seek certainty, we seek safety, we want predictability in everything we do before we make a move. But that's not how life works. Whether you become a corporate executive, a marketeer, a teacher, an entrepreneur, an innovator, you will encounter difficulties and uncertainties throughout your lives. I took my biggest chance at 42 to make a real difference as a startup founder because I did not want to retire in a corporate suit. I wished I told myself 30 years ago I could have taken more chances at 22 or 32 and not 42. Failure is not the opposite of success. It is the necessary ingredient to success. If I hadn't taken the chances I did or failed in my attempts, what would I have learned? The next generation of successful leaders, educators, entrepreneurs, innovators, and explorers will be those most willing to step out of their comfort zone, challenge the status quo, and take chances. As you settle into your jobs, do not limit yourself to the job description that was written for you yesterday. Instead, think about how you can make that role more impactful tomorrow with you in the driver's seat. Create opportunities for yourself because chance always favours the prepared mind. Remember this. For most people, they will almost never regret the decisions that they have taken, but they will always regret the chances that they fail to take. Rounding up, staying lost, staying curious, is a powerful mindset that has shaped not just my entrepreneurial style, but my life philosophy. I believe it can do the same for you, so I challenge each of you 
not to fear uncertainty, but embrace it. Step out of your comfort zone, be curious, and never stop learning. Your university education has given you the starting tools to an exciting world of knowledge and opportunities. But the real learning has just only started. Some paths simply can't be discovered without getting lost. Stay lost, stay curious, take chances. Thank you again for the invitation. I'm very, very honoured to be here. And all the best to you going forward. Thank you, Mr. Tan. I now invite Professor Wendy Thompson, CBE, Vice Chancellor, University of London, to deliver her address. Professor Thompson, please. Thank you. Mr. President, honored guests, colleagues, graduates, friends, and family, allow me to add my welcome to this 2023 Singapore Institute of Management graduation celebration. And thanks to everyone here, without whom today would not have been possible. And thanks to you, especially the graduates of the program today. I bring really views from the University of London to add to those that you've already heard this morning. Congratulations. Really, years of hard work, late nights studying, exams, dissertations, and sacrifice, you have made it to graduation. The 260 of you here today have graduated from more than 20 University of London programs, from business to management and digital innovation, from data science to accounting and finance, and each of you have achieved something special. So today, is a celebration of all you have accomplished. And I think of international students in way of, as I think of myself. Uh, I came to study in the UK with a, you know, from Canada, and now I have this great opportunity to come and meet students, graduates from around the world. It's a huge privilege. I'm of the belief that when you take the long view of your life, where you study is just as important as what you study, the culture that you are immersed in, the people that study alongside you, the values that you develop during this formative period of your life will shape how you experience the world. And I find it hard to think of a place that will better prepare you for the future than Singapore. It's always struck me that multiculturalism and diversity is baked into this unique island. On the day of its independence, Lee Kuan Yew said that everybody will have a place in Singapore. And as you walk around the streets, as I've done in the last few days, you can see that this founding vision still holds true. This island is defined by different cultures, ideas, worldviews, and values rubbing up together, coexisting, influencing, and informing each other. In our ever-connected world, to be surrounded by that for the duration of your studies has prepared you to thrive after graduation. For as you're hearing this morning, and as I'm sure you're aware very clearly, the world that you're graduating into is a challenging one. War and growing wealth and equality have challenged what we once believed to be true. The world is being reshaped by climate change. By 2030, Earth could experience once per century heat waves every other year, and there will be a complete and total upending of our understanding of the global economy as a result. While this can fill you with uncertainty for the future, actually days like today bring hope. I can't imagine how you could be anything but hopeful to be in a room with 260 graduates who represent a new wave of positive change. You are joining the historic ranks of more than 40,000 SIM and University of London graduates who have gone on to change the world for the better. From entrepreneurs to chief executives, thought leaders to politicians, graduates just like you have gone on to change the world around them for the better. So now is your time to go and do the same. 
For who will navigate or lessen this crisis if not the people sitting in front of me here today? The skills that you have learned, the degrees that you have, you have earned, make you the people on whom the future relies. In a turbulent world, you will be a key influence in finding the next route to secure stability and justice. Because whilst the world you are graduating into is challenging, it's also full of opportunity. You graduate into a, a digital world that's connected and rich with data. You have more information at your fingertips than any previous graduate. Even looking just, just at the simple transactions, 500 million tweets are sent every day, probably more after today. That's about 6,000 tweets per second, 350,000 per minute, over 300 billion emails sent every day. The volume of data created, collected, copied, and consumed is increasing at mind-breaking speed, and it's forecast to exceed 180 zettabytes in 2025. And we've heard how now AI brings order to all of this. But it is you, the graduates in this room, that will uncover new ways to harness that, and who will write the legislation that shapes it and develop the values that will make it bring positive contribution to society. These are lofty goals, I know, solving climate change, navigating our digital world, but they are achievable because I'm not asking just one of you to do it. I'm not even asking just the 260 of you here today to do it. Each of you now are a member of a 500,000 strong global community of University of London alumni, and you share a fundamental meaningful connection with each other. All of you are united in your drive, your ambition, your ability, your capacity to create a better life for yourselves, your family, and your community. So when you leave today, when you've collected your degree and you head back out into this wonderful multicultural island, and many of you beyond, I want you to take with you an enormous sense of pride as well as confidence in the future and your place in it. You've graduated from one of the most respected educational institutions in the world. You've grown in a country that is a microcosm of our future. You've walked the same paths as titans of industry, politicians, leaders, people who changed this world and this country for the better. So you now have a chance to remake the world as you see fit, to build a better future for the people around you, to leave this world in a better shape than when you found it. I believe there's no limit to what you can and will achieve. So allow me to add my sincere congratulations to all of you and, for, and from me that you really take the advantage of a big celebration today for all you've achieved. Thank you. Thank you, Professor Thompson. We will now present graduates from the Masters of Science in Professional Accountancy under the academic direction of UCL School of Management. This program is a collaboration between the University of London and Association of Chartered Certified Accountants, ACCA. I shall now invite Professor Wendy Thompson, CBE Vice Chancellor, University of London, for the presentation of graduates. Vice Chancellor, I present to you graduates from the Master of Science in Professional Accountancy full-time program. The graduate is Ifans Cristianto. Let us give a round of applause to the graduate who has been just presented. Vice Chancellor, I present to you graduates from the Master of Science in Professional Accountancy part-time program. The graduates with distinction are Ong Tiu Hua.
Zin Mei Tun. The graduates are Cheng Dan Dan. Kam Ngoc Hung. Lao Yi Xuan Debbie. Leong Mei Teng. Li Ching Yen Lim Yu Long Lo Li Luan Lu Sing Tian Peng Sing Yong Philip Tung Tian Sun Win Lei Tu Wong Man Ho Let us give a round of applause to the graduates who have just been presented. We will now present graduates from programs under the academic direction of the London School of Economics and Political Science. Vice Chancellor, I present to you graduates from the Bachelor of Science in Business and Management full-time program. The first class honors recipients are Ayushi Rai. Birgitta Sharon Harianto. Brendan Chan Y. Kin. Chen Tian Hao. Christopher Chung Yen Han Chua Le Kang Clemens Chua Tang Liang Divya Manoj Dylan C. Wei Tzu Erica Lim Tzu Yen
Fu Shuling Natalie. Jamie Wee Yui Ya. Kek Wansi Junita. Ko Wei Kang. Liu Curly Dillies. Lim Chiu Rong. Lim Si Chi. Pai Kai En. Ragul Vijay. Ramineni Sarayu. Samantha Fong Sinyi. Safon Virya. Tan Hui San. Tan Wei Hao Kelvin. Tan Yu Jin Celeste To Yin Xiang Chester Tu Fang Wei You, Muhammad Khalid. <laughs> Muk Wei Shuen Ryan. <laughs> Yi Hong Ling Imelda. The graduates are Abby Chan Sinni, Adabala Alekia Saumia Devi, Akshaya Mutukumar. Alfiera Binti Abdul Rahman. Alicia Ang Su Pin. Amanda Lee Kit Yi. Amirul Hazwan bin Aminur Rashid.
André Poix. Anita Kumari Arsha. Annabelle Jane Po Wen Lin. Anthony Aishish Jo. Ariel Lo Yu Yan. Azaula Nicole Carey Datu. BM Adityan. Beatrice Chao Tian Ning. Benita Charles. Blasius Alpha Putra Agahari. Bok Wen Ti. Bulan Tahira Andamas. Karen Annabel Ho. Catherine Sutanjati. Celeste Ng Yi Chen. Celeste Xiao Yu Xuan. Chan Tie Min. Chan Yi Wen Shamen. Chan Yong Yi Jamie. Chia Xing. Chen Jing Hong. Chong Jia Chen. Cho Sheng Hao. Chu She Yen. Clara Tan Ying Yun. Clara Tan Yin Xuan. Clarissa Key.
Clarissa Lam Kai Yi. Clement Ong Ching Long. Darsha Raja Jawaha. Eldora Ho Fang Hui. Eugene Tan Wee Chin. Felicia Pan Ji. Felicia Yao Shi Yi. Farah John Joseph Alipon. Fong Shui Ming. Ganesam Sai Arya. Gag Isha. Jalin Tio Kai Ting. Go Tian Yi. Gupta Kyati Bharat. Hadira Iwani Binti Abdul Razak. Han Jia Hui. Han Rui Chen. Heng Wei Min, Jennifer. Hugh Chong Un. Hia Yenmin Shireen. Hun Shi Wen Hazel. Isabel Ang. Jane Risab. Jane Quek Tia Yi. Jane Liao Tia Yi. Janessa Lim Shi Chi. Jagatishwaran Jairam. German Hu Sinni. Jesslyn Lim Yi Ping.
Jitendra Kumar Krishi. Joey Tan C. Yi. Joshua Lim Chin Jie. Joshua Wong Chun Ho. Kadiyala Srivarshini. Kasi Bundasakan Aparajitan. Katiravan Rohitan. Ku Si Teng. Ku Wei Jie. Kila Party Aravind Rao. Kim Danby. Kimberly Sim Se Hui. Karthigan Krishnan. Clarice Guyala Escorial. Ko Chong Min. Kumar Shaina. Quick Sien Wei. Kwok Yi Tzu Kenneth. Li Chuan Sheng. Li Tian Hui. Li Min Yi Jane. Li Song Tse. Li Xin Ping. Li Yi Xuan Velda. Li Yu. Lek Wen Si Briona. Leonard Xia Jia Xin.
林佳杰。林家静，林佳英 （Natasha）， 林佩璇。Lim Wei Shan Sibyl, Lim Ying Shan, Gwendolyn, Lin Nian Chen. Lin Sihan, Lok Fong Yi, Lo Sir Ling, Shirlin. Lo Yun Ting, Mei Piu Chao, Megan Ng Ke Yi. Michelle Lee Kai Boon, Michelle Lim Yen Shuang, Mohammad Hazik bin Kairil Fadila. Nyo Jia Ying, Carissa. Ng Hao Chin, Sean. Ng Hui Eng, Winnie. Ng Chia Sin. Ng Wan Yu, Olivia. Ng Wen Xuan. Ng Yong Wei, Nguan Rosaneth, Nika Ang Ying Xuan. Nur Sajida binti Hamdan. Nur Suhaila binti Abdul Razak.
Nurul Fadzrina binti Muhammad Fadzil. Ong Bun Sien Elesta. Ong Li Cheng Vanessa. Ong Semin. Ong Shui Er. P. Kusalya. Pang Wan Chin. Po Yan Jin. Prerna Balaji. Priscilla Tan Yating. Rachel Chan Xiang Yi. Rajesh Raheja Siddhant. Rebala Sminyeka. Regine Yovelanos Te. Rukshana Mwafika Binti Mohammed Hussein. Sandu Ria Manjit Singh. Sapon Setikun. Saroji Aryant. Sean Ng. C. Jun Ren. C. Ye Ying. Xie Ke Jie. Sim Tianxing, Jeremy. Sit Xiao Chuan. Sri Nurul Huda Binti Roslan. Sheila Caroline. Tai Wan Yi. Tan Hui Shan, Janelle.
Han Le Ming, Brandon. Han Li Xuan. Han Pei Feng. Han Shi Ching, Joey. Han Ting Porsche Tan Wei Wen Tan Yi Xuan Tang Le Yi Leticia Tae Yong Lin Tio Hui Ting Jamie Tio Wen Xin Terry Tu Derlin <laughs> To Hui Min <laughs> Trisha Lau Ling Xuan Trisha Marie Go Siu Hui <laughs> Vishnu Narayanan <laughs> Wilson Ong Yi Kiat Wong Chia Lu Wong Mei Xuan, Emma Lim Woon Karen Wu Chu Jin Yap B Yi Samantha Yao Kai Sin Yek Xiao Ling Yoneni Sriram Yin Mo A Yong Guo Yao Wilson <laughs> Yong Yenting Kimberlin <laughs> Bennett Aryasuta Kusuma
let us give a round of applause to the graduates who have just been presented. <laughs> Vice Chancellor, I present to you graduates from the Bachelor of Science in Business and Management part-time program. The first class honors recipients are Dolina Alona. Wong Tian Lu. The graduates are Chua Yen Xin, Lee Ching Xuan. Jefferson Putri Noor Adila Binti Ramzan Tan Guan Min Wang Shu Fang Let us give a round of applause to the graduates who have just been presented. <laughs> Vice Chancellor, I present to you graduates from the Bachelor of Science in Management and Digital Innovation. The first class honors recipient is Ham Yong Lin The graduates are Alfred Chan Tzu Hao Alana Madeline Wibowo Anita Narayanan Ardra Jayakuma Ao Suwen Amanda Cheryl Lim Shuhui Chia Yongxiang, Darren Edric Putra Sugianto Yi Tsishan, Melissa Yi Piu Hien Ferliana Fernando Jason Darmawan Frank Tan Tinkai Inten Chaya Ningtias 
Kunchoro. Marcus Tan Yong Han. Michelle Lai. Natalie Angelia Chandra. Ong Jia Yi. Sharina Binti Muhammad Sharif. Srila Sivaraman. Tan Sun Sin Gregory. Tan Sun Ting Jaslyn. Tan Yuan Ting. Tay Jie Hui. T. Wan Xuan. Wu Pan Nam. Wong Ting Yao. Yap Ming Lee, Amanda. Ye Shu Yi. Let us give a round of applause to the graduates who have just been presented. Thank you, Professor Thompson. We shall now present awards to individual graduates who have excelled in their studies. Let me now invite our guest of honor, Mr. Oliver Tan, co-founder and CEO of vSense, to give away the awards. Mr. Tan, please. From the Bachelor of Science in Business and Management full-time, Winner of the SIM Gold Award. Chua Le Kang Clemens. <laughs> Winner of the SIM Silver Award. Liu Ke Li Dillies. Winners of the SIM Bronze Award. Christopher Chung, Yen Han. Chua Tang Liang. Dylan C. Wei Tzu. Pai Kai En.
from the Bachelor of Science in Business and Management part-time, winner of the SIM Silver Award. Dolina Alona. Thank you, Mr. Tan, for giving away the awards. It is our honor that Mr. Tan has graced the ceremony as the guest of honor. I now invite Mr. Xia Chin Xiong to present Mr. Tan with a special memento. Mr. Xia and Mr. Tan, please. Mr. Tan, on behalf of SIM, we thank you for gracing this ceremony. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Tan and Mr. Xia. Ladies and gentlemen, among the graduates today is Ms. Dalina Elona, who has graduated from the Bachelor of Science in Business and Management with first class honors. Ms. Elona had worked in the fashion industry for 10 years as a content creator, entrepreneur, and brand ambassador. She is passionate about financial analysis and corporate finance and has obtained numerous certification from Corporate Finance Institute. I shall now invite Ms. Elona to offer her remarks on behalf of the graduating class. Mr. Oliver Tan, co-founder, CEO, Vizens. Professor Wendy Thompson, CBE, Vice Chancellor, University of London. Mr. Xia Chin Xiong, President and Chief Executive Officer, SIM. Distinguished guests, graduates, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. My name is Alona, and I am incredibly honored and delighted to be a graduate representative at today's ceremony. Firstly, to the class of 2022, congratulations, we made it. We all know how much sacrifice it took to get to this point. All the late nights that we spent studying and carrying social expectations on our shoulders. We are here because we did not give up. No matter what, we are stronger than we were before. To stand in front of you today, my story started 15 years ago. Since I was a child, I dreamed of getting an international business degree. Being born into a humble Ukrainian family in Ukraine, it was impossible to imagine this, let alone think that it could be a reality. I was told that my English was not good enough, that I was not smart enough, and that I would not be able to pay for my education. Today is the day that my dream has come true as I am able to graduate with all of you. My fellow graduates, believe in yourself. Go after your dreams and do not let anyone put you down. Our university journey has been a challenging ride. Many things did not go according to our plans in the past three years. Things of anxiety and stress, exhaustion and procrastination, doubts and fears, Accompanied thus day after day. Thank you to our family and friends who gather here in this room today to celebrate with us. We would not have made it so far without all of you. Thank you to SAM, UL, and LSE for providing a great support system for UL students. As a Ukrainian, the past year was extremely hard for me to the student support service at SAM. Thank you for the countless efforts to check in on me and ensure my well-being is taken care of. 
Next, I would like to show my gratitude towards our lecturers, mentors, and SAM staff. Thank you for the profession you have chosen. You pro it provides us with necessary knowledge to face the world that awaits us all. It is not just any university. This is home. This is family. We will always be connected. Thank you to my fellow graduates. Even though we came from different places and speak different languages, we have turned it into something that unites us and gives us strength. I have been so blessed to be part of diverse community here at SAM. All of you have inspired me to be a better person and simply be proud of my own heritage. Lastly, a big thank you to my family who was there for me all the way. All the struggles, long hours and hard work have paid off. Thank you for believing in me. <laughs> Class of 2022, congratulations once more on this incredible achievement. Remember to always dream do your best and never give up. From all my heart, I wish you all the best. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Alona. On behalf of SIM and the University of London, we would like to congratulate all our graduates and award winners on their achievements including those who have been recognized by the University of London for their ac academic performance in the worldwide examinations. As we celebrate your success, let us not forget the people who have walked this arduous journey of learning with you, encouraging and supporting you along the way. Today, as you don your academic regalia, they are the ones who are the, the most proud of you May I now request for graduates to rise. Turn and face your parents, spouses, children, relatives, and friends. Let us put our hands together to show our appreciation to your family and loved ones. Thank you. Please be seated. Ladies and gentlemen, this concludes the presentation ceremony. We thank you for celebrating this special occasion with us. May I request for the audience to please rise as the academic procession takes its leave. <laughs> 